Hello everyone, today we're going to continue to do some sketching as usual. This is a realistic week of me sketching in my sketchbook. Today I just really wanted to um, show you guys what it's like for me when I sketch during the week because I don't sketch every day and I think that's like something that a lot of people struggle with is like they think that they have to sketch every day in order to get better but sometimes we got lives to live and we got to do other things other than sketching and practicing um making art so this is me this is what i do during the week when i am doing any sort of studies in my sketchbook or just exploring something um today well, not today, but um, I started off on Sunday, and on Sunday, I decided to take out my color pencils, take out my watercolors, like my metallic watercolors that I have yet to use, like for a really long time because I've used them before, but it's just been a really long time since I've used them. So I took them out, and I didn't know what to do with them, and then I kind of just um, thought of the idea of sketching some little jewel bugs or any beetles anything anything bug related that would work with like using my metallics so i use my metallic color pencils to start off the sketch and then afterwards i just started adding colors um that was pretty much it this was just me exploring my metallic watercolors and that was about it that's all I was doing for this page. If you are new here, welcome. Feel free to subscribe if you want to. And I just do a lot of sketchbook videos here. And I do some reviews. But overall, I just like sharing my art here. And yeah. If you are coming back from the last video, thank y'all for watching and thank y'all for waiting for another video i took a little break I took a two week break because i was very busy with um my work that i was doing for animation then i am also working as well just a regular job so there's those two things that i've just been juggling and yeah i just decided to take two weeks off from youtube but here i am back at it again ready to continue making videos for you guys and yeah i hope you guys like this video and are watching all the way through and i'm gonna put on some music and then i'll be back <laughs>
am back. Today's topic is sketching as an artist and a realistic week of sketching. We're going to start off with how much I actually sketch during the week and then we'll move on from there. So I sketch on a good week six times out of the seven days and on a regular basis I'm going to be sketching four days out of uh the week and then the least amount of times that i will sketch is going to be probably three times out of the week um sometimes i will sketch like back to back like in a day so i'll like sketch in the morning and then i'll sketch in the evening things like that but most of the time i like to sketch either really early in the morning so i can warm up and then I also will do late in the evening, right after work. So those are my two options. I never really sketch in the middle of the day. Um, generally, I just do to either morning or late evening. And that's about it. So the way that I use my sketchbook is going to be way differently than other artists use their sketchbook. Everyone has a preferred method of how to sketch and what they need sketching for. For me, I use sketching to sort of like this, what I'm doing right now is just exploring a medium that I'm not used to or that I'm not super comfortable with yet um, and just trying to get used to it or just practice with it until I get good enough so I can do an actual illustration or a painting. That is one way that I use my sketchbook and my sketching time. Now the way that I will use it is to try and just figure out different compositions of an illustration or a painting, like creating little thumbnails, creating um, color palettes and things like that. And then there's also the way that I use it when I'm actually practicing a subject. So I'm like learning how to draw like a squirrel or maybe I'm learning how to draw a fox or I'm learning how the body uh, moves and like just different things um, learning proportion of something that I have yet to draw in a long time um, so that's the way that I use my sketchbook not everybody uses a sketchbook like this but that's the way I do it and here you can see this was me this page right here I just used it to just explore my medium and my favorite one was that little bug right there, the big bug. Well, it's little, but here it looks big. That was my favorite one out of all of them. And generally, like, the first, the first, all the way to, like, the third sketch is not going to be the best out of any of my pages. Especially the first one, because that's, like, where I'm just barely warming up. Um, I've seen like other artists use just like a sketchbook to literally just warm up and that is just just make scribbles, doodles in order for them to like actually start the real process of an illustration. I don't do that. That's not how I use my sketchbook, but it's it's a great way to use your sketchbook. So that's just how I use my sketchbook. And as you can see here, I am practicing drawing foxes because in one of my animations, um, my character is a fox. So I have to learn how the proportions of a fox is and the anatomy of a fox and their characteristics, the way that their um, face moves when they're like in a certain mood or like, I just have to learn a lot of different things. Um, and so that's how I use my sketchbook and that's why I'm drawing a fox right here because I have to learn everything possible that I need to know in order for me to develop a character that is believable in my animation. So that's what this page is right here. This page I did it on a Wednesday and yeah, that's, I'm just using a color pencil and I am using, uh, I don't know what it's called, well, a black ink pen, I guess, black ink pen. Yeah, this is what I'm, oh, I think it's blue. I'm not sure what color I used. 
Um, but yeah, that's what I'm just doing here. Uh, when I am practicing, when I'm learning anatomy or figuring out proportions, I like to use a color pencil and try to be as loose as possible. Sometimes I'm not very loose. Um, but sometimes I am. And then I just go over my sketch as many times as I need to in, in order for me to get um, the, the correct um, body proportions or the position of the animal, anything like that. And I also try to use as much of the page as possible. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on here in this page. Okay, let's move on to a different part of this topic, which is why I don't sketch every day. So for me, my job, my regular job, is that I am an art teacher. So I'm coming up with lesson plans and I am just already being creative um, five days out of the week. I just did my regular job. So that takes up a lot of my energy, my creative energy. And when I'm not working, after I come home from my regular job, I start working on my animation. And that's another form of creativity. So I'm just continually using that creative side of the brain. And then whatever is left over, I am just using to practice anything that I need to practice. Or just really anything, any other creative things that I need to get done. Um, yeah, so whatever energy is left over, that's just what I'm using it for. So that's why I don't sketch every day. Um, because then my creative juices are going to be gone. And I can't have that happening because I have hit a point during art school where I was burnt out. And for me, when I am doing so many things that require, that require the creative side of the brain... I just get burnt down. I can't come up with any good ideas. I definitely don't hit an art block. Because I can still do art no matter what. Um, and come up with like endless ideas. But they're not going to be the best ideas. Um, when I am burnt out. So yeah, burnout is a real thing. And I never want to feel that again. So I try my best just to leave sketching um to like the last thing that i need to do um especially right now since i'm already just being creative every single day and using that part of my brain so i kind of leave sketching to like the last the very last thing that i need to do because i can't use up all my energy on just sketching it can't be the first thing i use my energy on, but um, maybe if you're not working at a job that is very creative or like you're not going to art school currently, you're on summer break like I am, and you probably do want to be sketching every day if you want to get good at a specific topic like anatomy, maybe it's color, color theory, maybe it's painting, drawing, anything. Um, you might want to be sketching every day, but for me, that's just not realistic. Uh, for my schedule and my routine um but yeah that's just that's just what it's like when you're trying to make art a career i will say one thing that i have noticed from being at art school is that the professors and also the students who sketch the most are going to be the better artists and that's just because they're continuously practicing their craft and getting it down to quote-unquote perfection this whole page that you're gonna see is gonna be filled with squirrels which i sketched on friday and i chose the gray squirrel because there's gonna be a gray squirrel in my animation so i needed to continue to practice on drawing the gray squirrel trying to learn the anatomy different characteristics body proportions um also facial proportions too i'm not looking to stylize any of this i'm really just focusing on 
trying to make it look as believable as possible. Um, again, this is a sketch, so it's not going to look realistic. But trying to get down like the exact proportions and the overall body language, um, the raw pose. Um, I should probably do more gesture drawings. It's probably next week I'll do some gesture drawings. Um, but yeah, this is just what I'm doing. So I start off with a circle for the head and then just a little bolita for the body, just the oval for the body. And then afterwards, I just start back up again with the head. Um, and then the last thing is going to be like the eyes and the nose. All the little details are saved for last. And that's just how I work. Other people start off with the legs, with the arms, um, right after they're done drawing like the big shapes. But I like to start off with the head. That's just what I prefer and what I'm used to. Um, yeah, that's what this whole page is. Just squirrels, just squirrel drawings, squirrel sketches. And I'm gonna leave you guys with some more music and I'll be back. <laughs> On Sunday I decided to sketch some bunnies and that is because I am obsessed with bunnies almost anything bunny I am obsessed with but not not everything uh, I am also a bunny mom so there's a fun fact if you guys did not know about me I love bunnies and that is also why my YouTube channel is named bunny blue studio the last topic of today's video is going to be about sketchbooks because that is a very important part of sketching is the sketchbook. Some people do enjoy just drawing on loose paper, but I'm somebody that really enjoys drawing in a sketchbook. I love a good sketchbook, especially decorating it. Like when you first just get your brand new sketchbook, you open it up and the pages Ah, oh, they smell so good. The smell of brand new pages. It's the best. And then also, like, you gotta decorate your cover with whatever stickers you want. And draw on anything you want on the first page. It's also really nice. But let's talk about sketchbooks. I generally stick to a 7-inch sketchbook or smaller. I have learned my lessons from getting, like, the largest sketchbook which is probably like a 12 by 11 or 12 by 10 sketchbook. Those do not work for me. I cannot sketch in those sketchbooks. Even like a 10 inch sketchbook still cannot work in. So when it comes to height, like seven inch is like the most. 
that I'm gonna like ever purchase a seven inch sketchbook seven inch by five um inch sketchbook is like what I stick to when it comes to like the largest sketchbook and then for my other sketchbook the smallest one that I have is a four inch by four inch and so yeah anything between a seven and a four inch that is what I like to stick to anything smaller than that I have yet to try but maybe one of these days I'll try a super tiny sketchbook and do like little tiny paintings little tiny sketches so but I have yet to try that and I really want to try that but that's what I prefer generally if you're somebody who does not sketch a lot or has a hard time filling up a page or just your sketchbook in general I would say go down just go down a chunk of size I would say if there's someone who like rarely sketches at all and has a super hard time like picking up your sketchbook and sketching get a four inch by four inch you are gonna love it because you're gonna go through it like super quickly if you're gonna be sketching every day or every four days out of the week you're gonna go through it pretty quickly um and then also it depends on like the size of sketches that you make if you're someone who like draws really large and loves to do a lot of gesture drawings um then a big sketchbook is probably going to be the best for you but if you're someone that rarely draws go small the smaller the better for you because you're going to get that instant adrenaline that instant uh, feeling of accomplishment with a smaller sketchbook i also have sketchbooks for here at home sketchbooks for on the go sketchbooks for certain mediums so I don't always use this specific sketchbook every day. I tend to just jump in between different sketchbooks and have different sketchbooks going on at the same time. And with that being said, this is the last page of the week. And see you when I see you.